in, but what's allowed your players to buy in and perform on these big stages so often, so consistently? Well, I, I think what we try to get our players to do is play to a standard, be the best version of themselves. Um, you know, I oftentimes, you know, get on our players even when we win, and people don't totally understand that because uh, regardless of what the scoreboard says, how, how did you really perform? Did you perform, you know, to your best of your ability? Did you create the best value for yourself and for the team by the way you were able to execute the discipline that you played with? How you're able to focus on the next play, not get frustrated with uh, something that you know was difficult for you. It's got to be a great competitor. You got to overcome adversity. So uh, all these things create an internal standard that you know we're trying to get players to play to that um, not necessarily is dictated by the score, who you're playing against, uh, but it's about your level of performance and the standard that you play to. You know, oftentimes I use the example of, you know, when I was in an NFL coach, they would make a highlight tape for me of a player when we were looking at him for the draft. And all I was looking at was the plays that he played. I didn't know really what the score was in the game, who they were playing against necessarily, uh, what the circumstances were. I was just evaluating how that guy played on those plays that he was in the game. So, um these kinds of things are what we want to try to get players to do to be the best version of themselves. <laughs>